Welcome to Super Darkest Dungeon 64. Because it's week 64 now, anyway. Or maybe last week was week 64. I'm actually not entirely sure. I'm not 100% sure how that counts out. I'm gonna do a Holy Crusade. I think that says the Holy Flame. I can't read it because there's a crazy glow happening because of the uh, weekly event for Bonus Virtue. But let's do an old Holy Wheeled run. That'll be, so that'll be something different that I haven't done in the past. Just a medium run, trying to get some Holy Relics. Uh, we've finally, thankfully, reached the point where I can equip... Uh, I can get level 5 versions of various spells. Don't have quite enough money to upgrade absolutely everything. But uh, my heals are upgraded, my smites are upgraded, so they're level 5. And so if I do any more, I'll go back to... I'll be getting close to zero on money again, but... Finally, we have characters with level 5 skills and level 5 equipment doing level 5 runs. And so that's... Now we're, I feel like we're kind of on the final stretch then. It all comes down to just unlocking the remaining boss fights and taking them down. The biggest obstacle, besides Darkest Dungeon itself probably, which I'm sure is something tough, uh, is that I need to try to get a party together to take down this goddamn uh, unstable flesh, which disappeared on me. They just undid my party. God damn it. There we go. That's what I get for clicking on things as they start rearranging my party and, and deleting them. <laughs> My bad. That's so a medium run. Take a few things along the, the way. Nice big two stacks of torches. My usual 20 food. And we'll get through this. They're going to be in some real tough trouble when they send undead at me, hopefully. But mostly I'm just amused by the idea of, like, let's take a different composition I've never used before. There is power in symbols. Collect the scattered scraps of faith, and give comfort to the masses. Enjoy that bonus virtue chance. Alright, not a lot of decisions being made this time around for where we're going. Looks like the entire thing's one solid hallway except for one tiny deviation. So we'll see how that goes. Stashed heirlooms! A handsome reward. Goodness me. For a task well performed. I did just realize that one downside, then there's the downside, is that uh... This isn't really a group of people known for scouting or trap disarming. <laughs> so I may have to live with those consequences, but double heals and two characters that... Like, every single character has a heal right now and isn't too bad at killing undead. So I'm hoping that that'll pan out for me. Specifically for the ruins, of course. Hey, now. That said, not a ton of uh, stress-fixing problems here, are there? Or solutions. So, we'll have to live with that. But damn if we like, if they won't be like a... Just this mulcher for undead, probably. And having a whole party of people that can all heal themselves kind of... Makes the self-sufficiency pretty interesting. Howdy, folks. I am worried about stress. I am realizing that there that could be a definite downside. Is that no one really is good for it at uh, removing in this party. Holy crap! Wow! They are actually getting spammy with it too. Alright. Admittedly a little rough. If you take a party that doesn't deal with stress very well. It's a little rough to have literally the first encounter be a series of stress spamming units. Not doing me any favors. Trying to beat my way over there. At least he's going after the low, to low stress character, but damn, we took a lot of stress over the course of this one encounter already. Ah. All right, this may be a fail. This will be a failed experiment, I think. Oh well. People say you should experiment with party compositions because obviously I've used the same ones a lot. Oh, he's in melee range. He won't be lasting much longer. But he's gonna get another one. Yeah. Might have to live with the consequences for this one. That self-healing attack is great, though. Destroyed. Whoa! Only that crit led to a, a, a heavy amount of uh, stress recovery. Locked display cabinet. Alright. Treasures! I love treasures. We just need to find our three relics and get out of here. Unfortunately, I can't make any tactical decisions along the way of where to go, because it's a hallway level. 
no tricks this time. Uh, let's all focus on the front guy just to get one of them taken out. Ah, that guy, has all that guy does have all the stress attacks though, and this guy is actually surprisingly hardy at 31 hit points. Not. Ah, we'll focus fire the guy with the stress care attacks. Take him out quickly. The other guy can only attack. He's also unholy, which means we get the bonus damage. Although we have to, we are of course that bonus damage is going counter to his prot, so it's not a flawless approach. Cool, he's doing rend. That's good news. That means he's op he's opening with a bunch of. Uh, okay, actually, rend's bad because the sheer amount of bleed it applies. But it's a uh, it's a break from the stress that he could do to us instead. Uh, keep, we're gonna keep focusing this guy down. We'll double. We'll all. We'll spam heal the uh, crusader once this guy's not able to spam us more with stress, like that. Oh, there we go. That's not great news. There we go. Size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Rend for the old gods. Oh no. Oh cool. Pat, that's fantastic. We've resisted the stress. Stunning blow. Do you use enchanted success? Nope. Thought I'd, I thought I'd buy us a, a turn real quick. Ah, oh, crap. That's a comical amount of bleed. That's not what I wanted. I don't have any bandages, do I? Not so much luck this time. Alright. There we go. That's a nice number. Try again with the stun. There we go. That'll buy us a little time to catch up with this bleed. Because the entire party can heal. <laughs> That'll be fun. Unfortunately, the bleed can't be healed. But we can heal the effects. And it's down to three per turn, which isn't too bad. Those are so many heals. Okay. His stun's about to wear off, so we're gonna want to crush his face now. Okay. More literal than I was expecting. That actually took him down immediately. How is our event? Wow. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. We haven't reached the second room yet, and our inventory is full already. That is excessive. Uh, and they're both money items. Admittedly, we we also, on that topic of not being in the second room yet, we already have a horrifying amount of, of uh, heirlooms. Two portraits, eight deeds, sixteen crests. I want all those things. And then that comes down to a charm and a 500 gold item. I think I'll replace the relic with the gold item. Ah! We need stress recovery, though, and oftentimes in the ruins you can use holy water for stress recovery. Is the 500 gold worth it? It might not be worth grabbing this early on. It might be worth it just to keep pressing forward. I, similarly, I feel like it's not time to, to rest either yet. I feel like we need to go further than this before we rest. Just because it, there are benefits for it. And spending those this early seems a little wasteful. Howdy, folks! Take out the mag maggots quickly or focus on that guy? Uh, we'll take out the maggots. Once they're down, everyone has full range on to, to destroy the ghoul. As opposed to trying to pelt it with vessel attacks. Not a full party. Okay. At least it, at least it wasn't quite that. Eradicated. There we go. Our other crusader can already focus on him now. Confidence surges as Maggots the are out. Alright, focus fire time. We may be looking forward to a... Uh, <laughs> a stress heal bill after this. How's his stun recovery? 95%? Like a 1 in 3 chance? Not a great chance. Uh, uh, I'll go for it. Or not. I figure between the two Vestals, there's actually an okay chance of getting a stun to stop him from doing one of these, but that's not panning out. Crap. There's some damage. Yeah, I figured one. if I could stun him for one turn between the two Vestals, then we'd be able to take him down pretty quickly. L little pointless now, isn't it? Because he's so close to dying. There it goes. These dice rolls, fantastic. Oh, no. Alright, it might... Eh. 
Can't believe how many things we're picking up already. Does going through the ruins with holy characters somehow buff your ability to pick up loot? Like, what, what is going on here? Uh, I might have to drop that holy water, unfortunately. I want I want to keep it around for stress recovery, but I, but these busts and so on all, re all represent permanent progress for the town, and I still need them. So leaving any of them on the ground seems pretty rough. But, uh... Man, that's a lot of heirlooms already. Is that every heirloom? Uh, yes, I think. I think that's every type of heirloom in the game already. And one of them already has two, st there's two, there's two stacks of crests. That, that's silly, game. You're silly. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and All right. purpose is made clear. I'm going to go ahead and rest because we're close to maxing out stress already. Oh, someone's a stress eater. Or a stress faster, they're called in this game. The opposite of a stress eater, actually. So he prevents nighttime ambush. Reduces self-stress. Uh, no party stress reduction, though. Zealous speech. Reduce elf companion stress would be good. Those two combined would cost nine, though, which is most of what we got. It's not great news. Could do two zealous speeches to spam that party or stress reduction. That would use ten. And would give us a chance of a nighttime ambush, which would be pretty rough. All companions. Reduce stress. And gives prot, but only if they're religious. These characters should be religious, right? Let's see, damage. There we go, that's the nighttime ambush one. It's a little redundant with the other one, because this one at least gives myself a uh, stress problem. So I can do Zealous Vigil and Prey would be eight. You have another Prey. Yeah, that, that actually that works out mathematically there. So no Zealous Speeches this time. So, uh, Zealous Vigil. Pray. Pray. It's an improvement. Crusaders are obviously doing better than Vestals right now. That'll give us a little space, and I'll probably start eating our food to recover at this point. Just because of, uh, where we are. Let's put our supplies on the left here. Okay, so... Uh, after the next fight, I can consume two food to eat, and that'll clear, clear a little more space le left. Uh, wow, deeds. Okay. To be spent. We're gonna be upgrading a lot of stuff. After oh, no! Oh, okay. Things I did not expect to have happen right now. Lifesteal, show collection, collect call. Don't like anything about this guy. I'm going for a, 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 I'm going for the stun. If we could stop him from taking an action, that that improves the entire situation. It, oh, he's not ah! I keep forgetting that even though he's a skull man, he's not a uh, undead. So I get I get no bonus. Just gotta hit him hard. Yeah, there goes that. I figured even a tiny chance of stopping him from doing this would be nice, but it's not going to pan out. All right, let's just let's just attack him every turn. The faster we take him down, the less stress problems we get. Hopefully, nice. Getting some nice dice rolls today. Just focus fire on him. The good the good news is the vestals can attack him every turn. Uh, okay. That's a bit of a distraction. No bleed, that's nice. He's gonna get more. He's gonna keep summoning more. Yep. The vessels are gonna be busy with that. Let's take out the characters that aren't as protected right now. Mixed results. I don't want him healing. How about Zealous? 6 to 12. There we go. Spread that damage out a bit. Destroy them all. Uh, at this point, we might as well just attack the man-at-arms directly. We can't attack anyone else. Or we can't attack the collector. Oh, he's going to keep it going, too. Alright. He's durable. 50% prop's pretty rough. Oh. That's care. That's okay. Those, those, if there's anyone who can take stress right now in this party, it's those two specifically. There we go. 
He's no longer being protected anymore. So take him out. Precision. Just chop up that boss. Well, we're gonna have some loot for this one, aren't we? I'm, I'm gonna have some real tough decisions to make about inventory space in the near future, I think. I still need to gather the three holy relics. Like, those take up inventory space. How the hell am I gonna do this mission? I might actually back out of the mission because my inventory is full of rewards. And the whole point of doing a mission is to get rewards. <laughs> like, at some point, who cares about what the loot of the mission is? Uh... Obvious downside is that you get stressed for backing out, I believe. Oh, I should have attacked the man-at-arms because he's about to pre protect. I should have started with him. Okay. That's not going to stop me from attacking the boss. Interesting decision to protect the thing that isn't the boss. It does sometimes feel like the behavior of the AI is just randomized. <laughs> Can't staunch the flow. Can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> oh yeah, block this. Double attack. Masterfully executed. That's such a fascinating counter to being blocked, is the idea of like, I'll just attack both of you at once. Haha. -ha. Okay, that's a lot of attack. That's a lot of damage coming my way. Uh, three per round means six more damage. Should we down to 20 health? Still, uh, not going after the boss is rough because he's just going to get worse. Uh, zealous speech. I mean, this is self accusation. There we go. Just take that guy down. If we take him down, we can heal. The, we can heal our people afterwards. I have a little bit of food. There we go. Collector's down. I forgot the fight doesn't just end right here. That might give us a little time to heal if they don't stack too much bleed. No, no bleed this time. I'm gonna do zealous accusations with the other characters, and my my vessels are gonna get some heals off if they can. Oh, he lived. There we go. One down. There'll be no blood left. He's hanging in there. Uh oh. No bleed. No bleed. No bleed. Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Nice. I've been really, I'm really caught off guard by some of the random elements that are happening today in my favor. Alright, we're, we're, we're healthy. We're healthy. I can make do with this. I don't know what I'm going to do with my inventory space, though. Hey, Trapezohedron. As victories mount, so too will resistance. I suppose that I can... Uh, I guess as I press forward, I'll be using up torches and... I'll be able to throw away shovels and stuff like that as I find the, tra the trap as he drones. I, I mean the uh, holy relics. Uh, as I find them, I can throw away the keys at the, if I once I hit the point where my inventory is full, because then I won't have any use for opening chests at that point anyway. Don't know where the relics are though. I have, this is my fourth room. This place has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rooms left. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rooms left. Uh, oh, that's a holy relic. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm one third of the way through the dungeon technically, and I uh, have a nearly full inventory. That'll be fun to deal with. Uh, let's make a mess of these guys. I can attack your back row. I can attack your front row. <laughs> nice try. Gonna have to ask you to not do that ever again. And by ask, I mean kill you to make it stop. No, nothing about what I just said made sense. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bleed for the whole party. All right, we're going to do some party heals soon. They're necessary. Let's stop Mr. Cat of Nine Tails before he does that again. Oh, there's a lot of party damage going on here. They are spreading the love. How you feeling? He should die in one more turn, and that'll, that'll at least stop the uh, the whipping. Everything runs red. I have no bandages, though. So you're gonna have to deal. Hopefully by ending him. Uh, keep it going. 
Almost everyone needs the heal at this point. Not a fan. Can we finish him? Here we go. This should be my chance. Ooh, perfect. Crit means there's no corpse and I can keep flattening the other enemies. That's fantastic news. That makes it easier to focus on healing because the Vestals don't have to tar target the back rows to kill them. It's one more enemy down. Good news, everyone. Seeing a lot of nines today. I think we are anyway. Uh, I think I'm gonna spread some heals around, honestly. So many heals, good luck. Good luck beating this. Stunning blow. Come on. There we go. That'll buy us a little time. He is ble Yay, we ran out the bleed. That's good news. All right. We only have so much more time before another bleed happens. So we'll have to take him out soon. We're healthy now. Die. Oh. Awkward. Nothing good can come from toying with these creatures. Oh, that's the full party stress I was talking about. Well, I was hoping we'd hit him. And then, th and then that would go poorly for him. All right, everyone hit him really hard before that gets before that happens again. Still, I think it was a relatively necessary decision because man, the heal that heal worked out really well for us. Oh God! These nightmarish creatures you stack? can be good. They can be beaten. Okay, the, those things stack. The the uh, citrines don't stack. They're just citrines, though. I mean, what am I honestly gonna do? I still need my torches, we're not done with those. It's just 250. And I have to carry a freaking... Ah, uh, holy relic is here. How am I gonna make sense of this? We have so much stuff already, which is insane. Uh, do I drop the keys? What if, but what if we found a uh, secret room? That would drive me crazy. Do I make this a dark run? <laughs> That'd go great for us. Uh, let's pop a torch. In radiance, may we find victory. Grab Earl and Query. If only treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. Oh wow, a second one right here. Having an objective that's about filling your inventory with stuff is so much worse than having an objective that's about emptying your inventory. <laughs> It's so... Here we go. It's so much nicer when you have the objective that's like, here's three things you're gonna use to burn things, to destroy these things. Like, and then you use the three things up, and it's like, yay! We have more space. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... I don't wanna drop anything else, so it's gonna have to be the keys. After all, what good are keys when your inventory's already full? But I gotta keep my food, because we might have stressed crits or something. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll walk down this hallway and the third one will be right there. I just found those two right next to each other, gold, after all. Trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. With the proximity those two had, you could the other one could be anywhere. Including the worst possible spot. What do we have to look at? It's a curio. Nope, no no quest objectives. Well, it, it, we know it's ahead of us at least. What's our trap disarm chances? 70? Oh. High stress character has 70% chance. That could cure some- yep, cure some stress. Alright, so we know we're not coming up on it for a while here, unfortunately. So that's unfortunate. But it'll, it will deal. I went ahead and didn't go that way because the quest objectives are supposed to show up as the Curio name. It's not supposed to say Curio. So that should mean that there's- that uh, I can ignore that entire... Offshoot. Ah, uh, 500 gold. Ah, Do I genuinely make this a dark run? Or do I risk shovels? Should I risk the shovels and just let the stress happen? Or do I let myself run out of torches right now? Because the money, I want the money! 
But it's not worth it if it gets worse. I think I want to I think I need to leave the money on the ground. At the end of the day, I can't take that many inventory slots of stuff. Cuz I don't know, it's only two portraits. No, I I need all my I need all my crests. Money you get all, all the time, but crests come in such inconsistent amounts. I think I'm going to have to leave the money. No. Shovels. We're risking it. <laughs> Literally, the next room is going to be a shovel. I'm going to be really disappointed with myself. Hey, look, a locked display cabinet for that key I don't have anymore. I think we can use. Sh oh, I also, you can use shovels on those, which I just dropped too. So, that's uh, the game actively taunting me for my decisions. <laughs> Hello. At least gargoyles are unholy. Can I stun you? Just make you not get a turn? Because that'd be great. 70% chance. Hit chance. Oh, I can't stun that row. Whoops. Okay, fine. Going for those hits. Thankfully, these guys are unholy, so they're smite-worthy. But they're also high on prot and dodge, I believe. So, you get to deal with that problem. Do they leave corpses? They don't. Corpse is more like rubble. Ah. Attempts were made. Hey, hey now. Trying to make me move back. That's a, that's. Do you want holy lances? Because that's how you get holy lances. I'm dropping my light. Although our primary attack we're using increases our light, which helps a bit. Uh oh. Here it comes. Yeah. So much for that 15% virtue no chance. Thanks for, thanks for all the help you gave us, event. <laughs> oh, they're stacking things up on her. At least one Vestal still is kind of healthy. So I can take them on the next run. But uh, eh, maybe we'll finally do an Occultist run next episode. It's been a while since our, our Occultist was used. Because they escaped into this level range and never were seen from them again. Uh... Best kill chance is this guy, actually. There we go. Let's go chop off some good old-fashioned humans now. Yummy, yummy. Oh, she's alive. Well, an accusation will help here. To finish her off, but to target other people. No. You're not going to be able to move her. She has such a comical move. Was her move resist? I'll check in a, I'll check in a moment. They should have a super high one. Move resist is 140%. Yeah, you're not moving my Vestals. I often specifically equip my Vestals to not get moved because people like to move them forward where they're both more vulnerable and less effective. Goodbye. I am just a shadow in the dark, nothing at all. Oh, she attacked. Oh, she stunned. Yeah, she could, she could have done much worse things than that. Like skip her turn. Oh my goodness. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. How how can I keep getting more? How do I keep getting more money? I have two rubies. I got two rubies and four emeralds and there's a citrine here now. Do I just give in and accept the citrine because they're showering me with money? Fuck it, I don't need torches. Let's go full the crazy. Lit. The path is clear. We just, require only let's just, the let's just give in to our insanity. And no, I'm not opening that chest because we don't have a lock. We don't have a key, so I'm going to trigger a trap and not get the stuff inside, if I remember correctly. Uh, yep, single target heal. Hello, undead. Have you met my smite before? Decimated. Now you have. I, hey, now, I've got no quarrel with you. Wow. These dice rolls today, for both money and crits, have been fascinating. Not for not for virtue, though. That's, that was the uh, great equalizer. It was not getting a virtue. A successful virtue chance. He's almost down. Calm it down. Calm it down. Oh, I am just a shadow in the darkness. Oh, she's going for the attack. I would have preferred to attack the back row. Because this... That's exactly why, actually. 
That was one of those moments where I preemptively set the success state, and then the success happened. As if to validate me. And I feel so validated. Ah, uh, oh, it's more money. Oh, I can hold it. Cool. I had, Remind yourself that I had space for that one. Is a slow and insidious killer. Uh, it's the thing where if I had the holy ash, the holy water, I could have gotten stress relief. This was so long ago. Let's test it anyway. What can go wrong, right? Nothing happened. All right. Nothing this time. Give me holy relic. Just give it to me. All I need is the holy relic and I can leave immediately. My inventory is totally packed. What am I gonna drop when I get to the holy relic? Oh yeah, my food. Okay. Just double checking that that's an option. Focus fire the stress. Focus fire the stress. AoE. Yep, that figured that'd finish him, finish him off. While still spreading the damage a bit. She's gonna get an action, unfortunately, because I couldn't focus fire the stress well enough. So they're trying to give her Vice a heart attack. Ah. Always with the quarrels with you two. Whoa. Whoa. She went right to zero. Excuse me? No, no. Oh. When do I get a turn? Holy crap. Um, excuse me. Wow. That was a hell of a dice roll. Taken right down to zero, and just... Just... We, we, we resisted death. The death resistance. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> no. You're attacking yourself? That's such a bad time. What if she killed herself with a self-attack? That'd be crazy. She could have. Conce like, conceivably, with how damaged she is. She's on death's door. If her turn came up first and she did that, she could have killed herself, literally. And that would have been a hell of a move. Okay, now we're getting close to heart attack territory. Okay, this got way worse, way faster than I thought it was going to be. Holy crap. Um... Calm down. They are... They have a singular focus today. God damn. Everyone needs the heal right now. Pick these people up a little bit. Uh, please stop wasting your turn. She's passing her turn. God damn it. That's exactly what... She did the exact thing I was saying. Uh oh. That's what I thought though, right? Yeah. Uh, how much stress do you get from from quitting a mission? I don't know if it would kill if the heart attack would kill her or not from that in that moment. We gotta attack. Gotta clear the corpses and attack, or it's just gonna get worse. Uh, I was feeling good about this mission a moment ago. Uh, next target. Oh, there's a proper heal. We gotta avoid this heart attack, though. Oh, she's still alive. Of course she is. Stop it! Holy crap! Okay, now we're deaf. Oh shit! Oh no! Well, now we're definitely not gonna be able to retreat from this mission because she would absolutely die. Look at all this money. Uh, oh no. There's not good news to be had right now. What are you gonna do? Flame consume me. You're, stop, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Just stop doing that thing you're doing, like right now. Holy shit. Um. Damn, okay, so... I'm pretty sure that if I retreat, she'll die of a heart attack immediately. Bayonet stab. Jab. More money? Foolish horrors. Money won't Bottle heal a broken heart. Into the mud. 
Let's go ahead and heal up here. Grab that money. Am I just gonna leave? Oh, this could be vital information. Curio. Curio, Curio. Oh, god damn it. There's an obstacle. That obstacle is going to kill her with a heart attack. And the Curio. The objective is nowhere to be seen. It's, that means it's over here. Oh, I should have quit. I should have left earlier when I was talking about leaving. When I was like, oh yeah, we've got a bunch of money. Let's just quit. Because then they wouldn't have been in this situation. But now... Now she would die. And that seems awful likely. Ah, uh, the two portraits worth keeping over the two busts. At this point, I'm tempted to drop the holy relics and quit. Because they're a quest objective and fuck this quest. Alright, I thought about this for a bit. As for, I, <sighs> Retreating should increase my stress. So I believe that'll make them die instantly. I don't know what the exact value is or what the range of values there might be, so I don't actually know for a fact if it'll happen. At the moment, Vice has... how much stress exactly? 187. So they're 13 from dying. Period. Not much I can do about that. They're on a heart... they're about to... They're already on death's... <clears throat> they're already on death's door a second ago anyway. Somewhere around there is my destination. In the forward direction we have one trap. One obstacle. The obstacle is likely to kill the character immediately. But the trap, if she successfully disarms it, will give her some stress reduction. I don't know how those numbers are going to play out, but I can try it. At, at the very least, I might as well play out the rest of the dungeon and try to get my reward if I can. Woe is me, woe is us, how did we come to this? Did he just get more stress? No. Just increasing other people's stress right now. Alright, here it comes. Eight. That's not the best. Alright, she's 21 from death. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. What could go wrong? We're gonna be fine. Did she just get more? Nope, not yet. Oh, somebody else. And here's the test. Oh, look, quest location. That last room is the final quest location. That's where we win. But, unfortunately, that'll be a fight. Which also increases the chance Even of her dying. Alright. Goodbye, Vice, probably. Ah. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. Teetering on the brink, facing the abyss. Balance now hopeless. I'm sorry, did they fucking... Did they change it? What? She's alive. She had a heart attack and she's alive. So we could, we could heal her out of that? Did they patch heart attack? I thought heart attacks were instant death. Did they change it so that heart attacks are now just uh, take you to death's door instantly? Because that's different, but there's hope. I might get to keep this character. Don't touch things, guys. Come on. Food, 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 uh, uh I have no consumables to use here. Alright, we'll see how it goes. Let's put you in the back row. Slightly fewer enemies could potentially attack you there. Everyone's gonna spam heals on her at the beginning of the fight, and we're gonna try to get through this fight without dying, and then... What? There's no fight. There's no fight. There's no fight, there's no fight, there's no fight, there's no, there's no fight. Fuck you, Citrine, I'm out of here. Now it must be carried home. Abbot will be grateful. What? The trappings of his faith have been restored. How did this happen? Did I thought heart attacks were instant death, right? Am I, I? I guess I'll be doing some research in a moment to see if that if they patched it. I lived. <laughs> twenty thousand gold. Um. Twenty thousand gold. How many crests is that now? Oh, geez. 33 crests, 12 deeds, 2 portraits, 6 busts, a valuable hell, Hell's Hairpin. Uh, might keep it around, it's good for low light runs, but otherwise it's also probably pretty valuable. Wow. So instead of dying, Vice is now level 6, along with the rest of this party. And they, they got the Aug, the Aug, the Aug. Reduced speed, hit points, and damage. Yeah, I'd expect that from that heart attack. Increased chance of losing money while gambling. 
Wow, a lot of negative effects happening here. Ooh, Milligot Rabies, that's fun. That's bo the bonus damage is fun. The accuracy can be a little rough sometimes. Holy crap. I didn't lose a Vestal. I got a repair bill. Take advantage of this faith-fueled charity. It will not last. Wow. All Saints Day. The Abbey will be decorated for the duration of the event, and all are welcome to visit during the extended hours. The Cloister, Transept, and Penance Hall are free. That's... Considering the fact that I think a patch just changed how heart attacks happened right before I would have lost my character, and that I built up a giant, horrible repair bill for stress, but then immediately come back to get free stress reduction, is just like a crazy series of, like, amazingly lucky dice rolls, as far as I can tell. Just, just max out these slots here. Can I buy a new slot? Increase slots to two? Let's go for it. A little Let's hope. Put someone else in there. Is never without worth. Someone, someone really bad down here? No. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take full advantage of this while I can. Claire, oh, Claire can't go in there. How about there? You can go there. Can Claire go there? No. Can Claire not go? We'll only pray. Okay. So that's that's pray. Up. Oh. Claire. All right, everybody. The, <laughs> the whip noises. The, uh, the Abbey just got really popular today for that event. This has been a very strange session of Darkest Dungeon. And my character's alive. I'm about to go do some patch research. Alright, I don't know if this is a patch or not, but I'm gonna read the explanation of a heart attack because I, I didn't understand it at the time. Heart attacks are guaranteed to occur if your hero uh, reaches the maximum value of 200 on a stress bar. Heart attacks will immediately drop a hero's health bar down to zero and subsequently put that hero on death's door. Suffering a heart attack will set your hero's stress back to 170 if they happen to survive. At zero health, the heart attack will immediately deal a death blow to that party and will in turn stress out your other party members. So, don't know if that was a recent patch or not, or if I was always wrong about what a heart attack did. I could have sworn I was just told it kills people instantly, but no, it takes their health down to zero, which is a surprise. So, that's fortuitous for me, I suppose. I guess I'll see you next time.